guys, we all seeing what's happening right here? We all know that the animal kingdom can be very brutal sometimes. And to make matters worse, my poor little puppy here has to sit here and watch in trauma. Poor Charlie over here is all traumatized seeing these ducks beat up each other. Or at least that's what he thinks is happening. It's almost like when we were kids, how when we saw animals doing that kind of stuff, we were like, oh, hey, look, they're playing leapfrog. Ha, 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 ha. And our parents were like, ah, yes, son, totally. And then deep down, like, oh, my gosh. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh, those dogs are mine. Yeah, that's right, guys. Y'all aren't setting a good example for my children. Adam or Steve and Deuce. Get a room, as they would say, right? Isn't that what they always say? Get a room or something like that. Y'all have a whole pond. Go over there. Don't traumatize my little boys. Because then they're going to be asking me questions and I'll have to give answers sooner than I'm ready to give answers. How many of you guys out there have had that exact same experience happen, but with your children instead of like with a pet or whatever the kids observe something perhaps a movie or older cousin says something they shouldn't say then your little kid who's probably not ready to hear it's asking you questions and you just don't know what to say i'm sure many of you have been there and done that before uh tilly you good under there you need some assistance Check it out. I'm a full-blown chicken lady now. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm a full-blown chicken lady, bubby. I gave you that chicken. Yeah. Everybody needs a little bit of assistance their first time becoming a chicken lady. There's no shame in it. I feel bad. These guys can barely see. The number of times I've came in here to feed them and they run head first into my legs or something. <laughs> Too many to count. I'm gonna read about what we can They're, do for we got, them. We gotta give them different haircuts. That'd be so funny as they- You we, have to be careful though when you cut those. Well, yeah. All right, guys. Right now, I want all of you in the comment section to type below four hairstyles that we should give to each of our chickens. As you can see, the uh, pretty full manes, they got some thick hair on their heads like no other. And I thought it'd be really funny if we do different hairstyles for each one of them because we can give them a little haircut. It would help them see better too, so it's not even a bad thing. We could do like a mohawk, a full-blown afro, which is what they already have pretty much. Maybe a bowl cut, just silly stuff, I don't know. And I'm thinking that the four most commented hairstyles that I see in the comment section is what we will do for each chicken. So y'all comment down below what hairstyles y'all would like to see us give the four chicks. Look at that, guys. Fresh after a bath, running around, jumping and playing like never before. I saw on a Family Guy episode, there was a cutaway of dogs running and playing in this really tall grass like this. And so I'm guessing that dogs must love playing and running in tall grass because I see my two boys, Charlie and Echo, sure as heck having a blast doing it right now. <laughs> Y'all love playing in that tall grass, guys. Oh, y'all enjoying yourselves? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, yeah, beware of this thing. Oh, look at him go. Look at the little boys go. And then the peacocks and the turkeys are sitting there watching them like, what in the heck is wrong with those maniacs? Such unprofessional behavior. <laughs> I guess a dog can never be a businessman. And businessmen got to be professional. And dogs are the furthest thing from, especially our little ragtag show. <laughs> What y'all find, guys? 
Oh, look at their shiny little coats. They look so good after their bath. So, so good. So good. Guys, y'all know what I decided a few days ago. Something I've thought about and I really, I think it's what I want to do going forward. I want a sponsorship. Y'all are probably thinking, wow, Ellie, that's random. It is kind of random. I know it. But if you think about it, it's maybe it's not quite as random as it sounds. Because uh, Cousin Jake and Cousin Bree have both had sponsorships before. Jake, I think, was one of the first. In, Jake might have been the first in the family to ever get a sponsorship with the whole Zoo Papa trampoline uh, place. Brienne has like a kind of a partnership. Maybe a partnership is a better word than a sponsorship. A partnership with that like little electric scooter place. Uncle Dan has got some too. Um, and then there's been other people in the family that have done partnerships and sponsorships in various ways. And so I kind of wanted to do a partnership. I've never done one before. But do you know what kind of partnership I want to have? I want to have a partnership with sunglasses brands. If y'all can't tell from my videos, I wear a lot of different and what I would call interesting pairs of sunglasses. I mean, look at the kind I'm wearing right now. I know that's probably some of you probably think it's the stupidest looking thing ever but this right here is a swaggy pair of sunglasses I can't deny it and y'all know it's true if you get over your initial shock you may realize you know that is that's a pretty cool pair of sunglasses you got there Echo she don't want to play Echo Echo please stop harassing her but y'all know this is a swaggy pair of sunglasses right here and my fiance likes them as well right bubby what happened? I hate them. No, you don't hate them. No. Do. She's kidding. She's not. But guess what? <laughs> what? I just touched Ernie. You touched Ernie? Like I rubbed Ernie. Oh, good job. Twice. Twice. <laughs> good job, Bubby. Thank you. Yeah, my fiance, she hates them. She loves me very much, but she does not like the sunglasses. It's okay. I like them, though. And so as long as I don't embarrass her in public with them, I think we'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, can't, I can't even take myself seriously. That's when you know that you probably made a bad choice with your purchase. They were cheap, though. It's no big deal. No, I've gotten offers in the past to do different partnerships with different brands. I see them in my email from time to time. There will be a brand reaching out to me saying, hey, Flip Flop Farmer, we want to do a partnership with you. And it was just kind of always stuff that I never really found interesting or nothing that I really felt I had in common with. It wouldn't make sense for me to do a partnership with, you know, like a welding company because I, I don't do welding as, as an example. You know what I mean? But sunglasses is something that I can really relate to and something that I feel I would have a great deal in common with if somebody offered me a partnership for that. So I've decided that hereforth I want to do a partnership with sunglasses. So we'll see if that little dream or that little vision ever manifests into anything. If it does, great. If not, then it's not the end of the world, I suppose. <laughs> I reckon I better take this off just to be able to be taken a tiny bit seriously to wrap up this video. But I don't know if y'all can tell, I do have kind of bad allergies. A lot of people in my last video were commenting, asking about why I was sniffling so bad and what those sounds that were coming from my mouth was or why I was breathing so weird and self-explanatory. I got really bad allergies and it's hard to breathe. The nose is very congested. I'm trying my best to take Zyrtec and other things to try to keep my allergies under control, but it's hard. It's brutal this time of year for people like me that are prone to allergies i don't know what else to say other than that you know but with that said guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see i hope you all have an incredibly blessed day and as i always say your boy ellie out